Hey there my friends, in today's video we are going to be doing an entire kitchen organization as well as pantry organization because when we move into a place that is the first place that I have to start. So I hope you guys are excited, I hope you get a ton of motivation, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new and let's get started. Just want to make it stop. So here the boxes are and it is time to organize this entire kitchen. I really do like the layout of the kitchen. It is very functional. So I'm excited to get in here and kind of make it my own. So I'm gonna first start by wiping everything down on the inside as I go. I've just got some cleaner on a paper towel. I don't know how long the house was vacant, but the inside of the cabinets definitely needed a good wipe down. So putting all of my dishes in here and just trying to figure out how I want it. So I'm pretty sure I'll be moving things around frequently, which I do that anyways. I don't know what it is about me, but I will move furniture around and plates and just everything in the kitchen. And my family is always like, where are things? I don't know why I have to do that, but I don't know, I like it. So this is just a trial little run just to get our things out of the box and into the kitchen. Um, also, I'll be able to see how it is more functional as time goes on. I wanted to hop on here really quick because I have a really good friend that I have met through YouTube. We have talked for quite a few years. This is Catherine Elaine, and she has started a new channel strictly for cleaning motivation. She has got an incredible channel for decluttering and organizing, so check out that one. But if you would go and just show her some love and some support as she creates this new venture of strictly cleaning on this channel, I would just really appreciate that. She is just an amazing friend. She is so kind, so sweet, and so worthy of all of the love and success. So I would love it if you guys could go over there and say hello. Very quickly, I like to invest in the, I think it's Corel, Cornell. Listen, I cannot remember at this moment. It is late while I'm doing this uh, voiceover and my brain is really not all there. So it is just plain old shatterproof, break proof, scratch proof dishes. And you can get them online or you can get them in Target or you can get them in Walmart. I get the basic plain white. That way, if anything breaks, I can just add another one to my little set there. Then I've got some glasses at the top and my plastic glasses because of course we've got to have plastic glasses with a ton of kids. Those are from Target. I don't love the corner cabinet here. I would much rather the row go completely flush all the way to the end of the wall. I think that would make it look just like its own little area and open up this little section right there. So that's the plan. Now, I love white cabinets. I have been painting my kitchen with white cabinets since 2011. So I will do that again. I don't know if I'm gonna do it myself or have Chris do it. I don't know, I'm not sure yet. I think we're gonna get a paint gun and give it a shot because I don't wanna pay someone to do it. But I do want to paint them white because I just love white and that's just how I am. I am going to change the, uh, do a little different color on the island, but we shall see. I'm not sure what I want to do. I really loved that whole contrast look, but I'm kind of into light, bright, and airy at this point. I just feel like that fits this home very well. So continuing to wipe down all of the cabinets and I'm going to start putting the pots and pans. I was pleasantly surprised to see these pullouts. I love these. I would love to add more of these in the kitchen because it just makes life so much easier. And I know you can buy the kits on Amazon. So if you guys are interested in adding these little pullouts, check out Amazon. They have so many cool things. But back to the idea of the kitchen. I want to have a cabinet all the way straight flush and then remove the cabinet that I was just putting the bowls and plates in and have open shelving. I love open shelving personally. And I already have white plates, so I think it'd look really nice. And so then I wanna add another row of cabinets to the top with some crown molding and just to bring your eye all the way up. And I feel like it gives a very just high-end look and it's really affordable to do so because we are gonna do it all on our own. So. Yes, we are gonna be basically just renovating this house as we go, and I'm so glad you are here because we're gonna be doing a ton of cleaning, organizing, and renovating. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna remove these wine glasses. The, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these. And then I think I'm gonna put my coffee cups over here because initially I did have my coffee maker there. Now I also have an espresso machine, which I love, but I don't really drink it very often. But the girls, when they come over, they always use it. So, you know, I don't like a lot of stuff on my countertops, but I did leave the Nespresso on there for them until we do our pantry. My plan with the pantry, and I'll show it to you. Actually, you know what? I will show you my plan or tell you my plan with the pantry when I'm showing you how I am organizing the pantry, just, you know, to make it a little bit more fun. So as you can see, I'm in here and I'm just trying to figure out where everything can go. We got rid of so much stuff and I looked at Chris and thought, how do we still have so much stuff? I'm telling you, we probably got rid of 25% of our stuff. I honestly want to say like more than that, maybe like 35% where I get these numbers. I don't know. It just comes up in my head, but we got rid of a ton of stuff. The garbage can was overflowing and I had so many trips to the Salvation Army. I don't even know, but we but we still have so much stuff. So decluttering will definitely be taking place. You say you don't want to get in trouble That you don't find cause you got me I don't want to break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a Luckily, I have invested in the past in a ton of organizational type of things for the kitchen. So I am pretty much set up to be able to organize everything in here. I did not buy anything and I have really held to my word. Is that the how you say it? I've really just, I have not. And it's felt really good because you know when you get in a new space you want to buy new stuff but I have had no interest whatsoever I mean I am going to have to get some basic things that we need like new toilet seats and bath mats things like that but like decor or organizational items absolutely not have not spent a dime so yay me it feels really good to know that I'm saving money in that area but I've also have a plethora of stuff so Lord knows I don't need to be spending a dime. So I'm just gonna bring all the things in here. Now I'm putting all the cutting boards and serving dishes in here, but guess what? I don't serve people very much, like other than my family. So I think I need to get rid of some of this stuff as well. I've got a ton of cutting boards just for decor. Don't need that either. So I just, like I had mentioned, I'm gonna put everything in the cabinets and then I will probably, no, not probably. I will definitely be getting rid of more items. Side note, if you were seeing that little area there, did you see the parchment paper sheets? I wanna let you know that Dollar Tree has those now. Those are amazing for your baking sheets, but I use them for the air fryer. So I just wanted to add that little tip there. I saw But First Coffee um, sharing that little, t that little hack that she had found, and that's awesome because I always need parchment paper sheets that come right out. So head to the Dollar Tree and you'll be able to find them for $1.25. Unfortunately, these bamboo dividers that I got from Walmart would not fit. They were just too tall or too wide. I don't know. Um, so that was a bummer because it actually matches perfectly and I really do need some sort of 
divider in here. So I'll check my stash and see what I have. Um, I'm reporting now. It's been a couple, it's actually been over a week and a half. I still have not looked, but I've got all of my, you know, utensils in here and it definitely does need something to divide it in my opinion because it's just like moving around in there and I don't necessarily love it. So I've got all of my utensils here and I will need to pick up a rubber spatula. I think that's the only thing I need, but generally I only have one of each type of utensil. Originally, this Lazy Susan, I had put all of my um, bowls and like baking dishes type of things in here. Middle of the night, it dawned on me to put these glass jars and I feel like it is genius. It is easy access. I don't particularly love having that space there. I think you can be have something more functional, which I was going to find, but that does work great. So I'm happy with it. I am going to now clear this section out and I'm going to add all of my seasonings and vitamins to this little section here so again so thankful that i already have a ton of these organization items they really came in handy and i still have a big bin of things that i haven't used yet i'm sure i'll get to it it'll go somewhere in the house but it was great because i was able to make this whole medicine slash seasoning cabinet look so good While I organize the seasonings, the, one of the videos I had posted where I said the things I don't spend my money on, I talked about seasonings and borrowing the seasonings. I had a couple of comments like, so you just expect your neighbors to, you know, supply you with seasonings and milk and eggs? No, I wanted to just clarify that. No, I absolutely do not. However, I have built up a relationship with my neighbors to where that is just common for any of us to ask each other if we need something. I wouldn't go to a perfect stranger's house and think just because you live down the street from me that you owe me eggs or milk or anything like that. I was just saying that it is something that I will ask my neighbors for in the old neighborhood um, because I know them and we have established that type of relationship. When it comes to anything that I ask to borrow, it, has, it depends on the relationship I have with that person. I will never just assume that anyone owes me anything like seasonings or clothes or, you know, that's not what I was trying to say at all. Moving on to the pantry over here, this is actually a really good space. I have been able to get a lot of stuff in here. Now my plan with this pantry, like I had mentioned before, I would like to actually take all of this shelving out and put cabinets on the bottom, some um, tall enough to be able to put like the air fryer and things like that, but just a lot of drawers as well to be able to put our snacks in there. I think that would look really, really great. I also want to have like a butcher block countertop and add electrical in there so I can put the espresso machine and um, you know, like my, my kitchen aid in there so it can all be displayed. It's hard having it taking up so much space and they're pretty heavy, but I don't want it on my countertop. So I thought it would look really great in the pantry. So I'm gonna make this look completely custom. I have already gotten all the measurements. I just gotta find the cabinets to put in there. I think it'd be pretty easy. I mean, we're just setting it in there. I think I can do that. Will I put wallpaper in the back? I don't know, but I kind of think it would look nice. I wanted to also hop on and say thank you all so much for the love 
and just grace and compassion that was offered in the video initially where I said that we were moving. And then in my last video where I did the home tour, many of you said you actually like this home more. And truthfully, it has so much charm and I do love it. I love it so, so much. So I'm excited about it. I'm excited to see what I can do with it when we have had people over. They always say like your last house was beautiful, but it was cookie cutter. This one is you, Lynn. And I, I think I think it's true. I love it. You guys know I'm from Memphis, Tennessee, and I am a true Southern girl at heart. Been trying to get back to Georgia, uh, get to Georgia. I just love it there. Um, but that can't happen with Chris and his business. So being able to find this little slice of heaven right here in Florida has been such a blessing. I'm so thankful. The views are spectacular. I don't hear racing at 3 a.m. anymore. I am able to sit in any place of the house and not hear dump trucks and cement trucks just pounding down the road. So that's so great. We weren't even able to sit in our bedroom at the old house without the sound machine on. So which was such a bummer because you guys know how much I loved that house. But you know what? We had to move on and I'm glad we did when we did. And this house has definitely, its it definitely feels like home, which I was so surprised. As soon as I was like unboxing all of this, it just felt so good. Now I have my moments where I get sad because that's life and that's who I am. I'm emotional. But overall, I'm very, very very happy with the decision that we made um it has i get a little nervous when i'm trying to find a place to put our stuff that like we actually need and i can't and then i'm like oh my gosh you know but i knew it was a good idea to downsize it definitely put us in a better position and the kids love it we had emma's second birthday with just family and for a house that is much smaller than the last house they're we did not have people on top of us at all. It was so spacious and the kids were outside the whole time. We made them a little slip and slide and it was incredible. So I wanted to give you a really quick um, just tour of the kitchen and show you where I placed everything. Maybe it's a creative spot that you can use for your house as well. So I'm just going to show you. So I did keep all of the plates and the bowls in here. Um, and this works for now. Like I had mentioned, I'd like to eventually get rid of this altogether, put open shelving, um, and then take that and go flush to the wall. Over here, I put my platters. I think I'm gonna put my um, like cutting boards and things like that. It is nice that it's deep, like my circular cutting boards so that won't go anywhere else. It fits, so. Then over here, the seasonings and all of the medicine goes here. I left these open. This is gonna be coffee cups and I still have some room for things. Again, I'm probably gonna move things around quite a bit. And here I've got my baking supplies. And then here I am going to try to find a divider in my stash because everything's just like all over the place. I've got my pots and pans here. I've got the large baking dishes here. <coughs> uh, other baking dishes and cutting boards. I've kept ooh, ugh, I've kept this the same. I love this right here this is great ah. oh my gosh why would somebody do that i'm i'm having a moment why would somebody do that okay so, all right so this is all of the extra like the large items i'd like to get a spot to put that in the pantry um you can see like down here I've got my silverware here, and my knives and things in here. 
junk drawer. This right here, I love drawers. Prefer drawers. Um, dish towels. And then I got, um, let me show you the extra in here. You can see I'm not prepared. Okay, coming over here, I use the round, um, large round turntable from Amazon. It's 18 inches. I use that for my cleaning supplies. And then I got these command hooks. I love these. Um, to put that there because I need those are the things I use daily. Got my what are those things? Drying pads. I put my a microfiber cloth here and other cleaner back there. And then I let's see how the pantry is. So yep, 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 yep. You can see I'm not prepared. I thought I had already filmed this and I didn't, so I'm kind of doing this on a whim. This is how it looks. But it worked out very well. Got these from Timu. I love them. Um, got my little bins of rice and plasticware. Got my coffee and everything right here. Cereal. This has stayed looking pretty nice. It goes pretty deep, which is nice. There's snacks. Real life. Um, I've got all of their stuff over there. Just keeps it pretty organized chips galore and this is how this looks I think it turned out pretty good so let me know if you can use any of these suggestions for your own kitchen I hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out Catherine Elaine I've got her information in my description box don't forget to subscribe like this video and I will see you guys Tuesday love y'all